Use the frequency histogram to complete the following parts. A. Identify the class with the greatest and the class with the least relative frequency. So greatest frequency means the tallest bar. So I can see the tallest bar is over here. And it's, oh, it, oh no, okay, 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 see what they did. Let me open this up. So this is the one that has 40.5 as the center, right? So I'm thinking it's going, I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking. So let me try to find out where this lower limit is and the upper limit is, okay? Look, the lower limit over here must be the middle of 38.5 and 40.5, right? That's got to be the middle of those two numbers, if you see my mouse over here. So I'm going to use the midpoint formula. Add up 38.5 and 40.5 and divide that by 2. So let me do 38.5 plus 40.5. And then if you divide that by 2, it's going to give you this value right there. So that goes from, from 39.5. So I'll type that in. 39.5. Now what about the upper limit? Let's see. The upper limit is in between 40.5 and 42.5. So I'm going to add up those numbers, 40.5 plus 42.5. And if I divide by 2, uh, this upper limit's got to be 41.5. So I'll type that in, 41.5. And hit Enter. And that's how you can find um, the, you know, the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay, let's try a similar one to find the... Uh, the limits on the, the, the class with the least relative frequency. So find me the shortest bar. Where are you, the shortest bar? Oh, over here. So the lower limit must be in between 46.5 and 48.5. So let me get my calculator out of 46.5 plus 48.5. And then let me divide that by 2. It came out to be 47.5 for the lower limit. 47.5. Your number, oh, but you know, I think we have a problem. Because look, if I wanted this point right here, I added a number to the left and right and divided by 2. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Because I know the left bind want to be like 48.5, but like there's no number here. So I may use... um the the class width or you know how wide each bar has to be mm. um i'll use the previous one that we found you see the previous one went from 39.5 to 41.5 right so how wide is this bar i can find that by subtracting 41.5 minus 39.5 Aha, uh -huh. so the width of this rectangle's got to be two units long. So if I start from 47.5, I can add two and know that the end of the bar will end at 49.5. All right, and B is asking for the greatest relative frequency. Let's see, I just have to read how tall this bar is going up. So it's not quite up to, po oh no, it is exactly. So let me see if I can make this, oh, there's no way. So like this, this right there is 0.25, right? So the 25% mark right there. So I'll say the relative frequency is about 0 0.25. And they're asking the least frequency is about, the lowest bar goes to the first scale right here. Um, I think this is 0 0.01 because it's going up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to type in 0 0.01. And the last part, C. It says identify one fact that the data shows. About 25% of females have a fibula length between 39.5 and 41.5. They're right. I think this first one is the correct answer. You know why? Remember, we said 
um, the greatest relative frequency was 0.25. You see this tallest bar goes up to 0.25 and 0.25 is 25%, right? So this tallest bar, we're talking about fibula length in between the class 39.5 and 41.5, right? So there's got to be 25% of uh, females who have like the fibula length in between these two numbers. So I don't know, I think my explanation kind of sucks, but I hope I'm making sense. But that is um, but how you can read the lower limit, upper limit, and like this one was tricky. Um, and the last question was just based on the answers that we had on part A and part B.